Pope has courted controversy on his first papal visit to Africa, making a strong statement against the use of condoms in the fight against AIDS. He was speaking as he flew to Cameroon, first stop on a six-day tour, which will also take in Angola. Thousands of people line the streets of the capital Yaoundé, hoping to catch a glimpse of the pontiff. The Pope is called 2009 the Year of Africa, and he arrived bringing what he called a Christian message of hope to the continent. Africa suffers disproportionately. More and more of her people are falling prey to hunger, poverty and disease. But on his way over, he said he didn't want condoms playing any part in the battle against the scourge of AIDS. E direi non si può superare questo problema della AIDS solo con soldi sono necessari, ma se non c'è l'anima che sa applicarli non aiutano, non si può superare con la distribuzione di preservativi, al contrario aumentano il problema. The solution, he said, was instead in a spiritual and human awakening and in friendship for those who suffer. His comments have angered health agencies working in Africa, with many saying that condoms are the best way to prevent transmission of the disease. Sub-Saharan Africa is the most heavily affected region in the world by HIV-AIDS. An estimated 22 million people are living with the disease across the continent. There are almost 2 million new infections there each year, and it kills around 6,000 people in the region each day which is more than war, famine or floods. It's not the first time that the Pope has condemned the use of condoms in Africa. In 2005, he told clergymen from the continent that its way of life was under threat by condoms. The commentators say there are dissenting views within the Vatican. There is quite strong moral opinion within the Catholic Church that supports the use of condoms in order to prevent AIDS. It's simply a matter of the lesser of two evils. The Pope will celebrate an open-air mass in the capital tomorrow before heading on the next stage of his African journey. Emma Cook, World News Australia. Woo, <laughs> woo,